Hey guys, Nathan here, welcome back to another Inform Review today, and today we're going to be doing Inform Aramenko. Um, I, had, I could have done Vardy this week actually, and a few others that I wanted to do, but Aramenko, he's, he, was, he was my one of my favourite players last year, I mean I had his like, hero card, I had his um, team of the season, and I think I didn't think I did a review on him, but he was a very good player, and I, as soon as he got an Inform, and I noticed him in the team of the week. I knew I had to review him because he, he's also very cheap as well uh, at this current state in time. When I bought him, I think he was about twenty five odd k, which isn't too bad for an inform. And also, you can build a pretty interesting team around him, uh, mainly with CSKA players. And I wanted to build in some else, uh, so I decided to build in with a French players, French players, because I wanted to use the for the um, upgraded Benafa. And I always use some of the pace on the right wing, so Lucas. But, little spoiler, this is probably the last time I'll use the 4-3-3 um, three, three false 9 because I'm, I am find it difficult to play with because it's not very attacking formation really, is it? it's more of a patient build up. And I can't, I struggle to pass um, convincingly. I try and get up the pitch, you know, move fast, but when you give the ball away, it just seems to, you seem to concede a lot of goals with it. So, yeah, that's, that's the French part of the team done, and we're moving on to the CSK part. It's kind of obvious who we're going to put in because there aren't really that many great players from CSK, and the great ones are of, the obvious ones we're going to include. We have to use some 75 rated left back, but he has okay stats, so we should. He was and he was all right in game actually. Uh, made he was he wasn't like a weak link. He was more um, just a filler, you know, who did his job adequately. But the first goal we get is actually. Um, with Musa, but it was a nice move and it was sort of worked around the box very nicely. But then the second goal here, a, a nicely weighted lob through ball, and Aramenko thrashes it across the goal. And I can tell you, this man can shoot. I'm not lying. There's no, there's no absolute exaggeration on that. He he was a very 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 good shooter of the ball. And she there, he scores again with a bit of lag, but. He 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 had a bit on and off dribbling. He, it sometimes worked when you ha when you do the hold the two bumpers. Uh, he was able to get away from players pretty quickly. But when you did the loose ball dribbling, it, he seemed to not let the ball go. He seemed really clunky, and um, that was a really nice finish there as well. I I don't know why, but it was such a p roller. But the keeper was on rushing, and it it would have been it was just a really nice look looking finish. I don't know what to say about it really. Here we go, Lucas rounds the keeper, and Hatton Benaf puts it in there, but that was all started from Aramenko there. When you play up to him, and you get the runners going, um, he re he does have a good passing. That's why that's why um, I use cams at false nine, because they have great passing, great shooting, and okay pace. As you there, he scores with the outside of the foot, I want to put that one in because it was a nice outside of the foot shot. And Nakato here displays... An, um, I think he does now. Yeah, you get charged in the midfield, the ball drops, Nacto puts it in the top bins. I really like that goal, so I put it in there. And here again, I think Aramenko may score again here. So you work it out wide, and we're just doing a bit of nice work with Lucas. This is how um, really, really you got to use the false nine just to weasel your way in the box, basically. I mean, it's, it's kind of difficult to use uh, if you're trying to rush, but... Once you, if you have patient build-up play, then it's, it's suited for you. That's how it works for most people. Anyway, no matter what I was saying, I really think Aramenko would be good um, just as a cam behind two strikers, because in the four-three-one-two, uh, where you have to play it up to him, and there's quite a gap between the midfield and the cam, uh, you could you could really get some runs going, probably pop off a few long shots with him, play a good few balls. And um, really, I'd really get the most out of him. I feel that the, if you move back to centre mid and try and play him there, that, that wouldn't really work as well. But he is just a brilliant card. And he puts the penalty in the top bins. A really, really, really unlucky penalty to concede for the guy because we ran across the edge of the box and we dipped in for a bit and that was where he committed the foul. So yeah, um, this is the summary, I guess. His top stats are 94 stamina, 91 volleys, 90 vision, 88 short passing, 87 long shots. Um, yeah, his long shots definitely proved that curling effort you may have saw. I didn't really comment on it, but yeah, really nice curling effort he scored. His vision, his vision sorry, is, is very good as well. Um, 
as I said, if it was clunky, but the four star skills and four star reaper is definitely more useful for someone who is a skiller. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I'll see you all for the next video soon.